Hey guys, it's Jen from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use different tools to cut objects in Illustrator. I'll be mainly talking about the scissors tool and the knife tool since I already have a tutorial talking about how the eraser tool works. So yeah, if you're interested, you can find the link to my eraser tool tutorial in the description below. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so I'm going to show you different ways to cut objects in Illustrator. So obviously a lot of you might be thinking about the scissors tool or the knife tool. And actually you can even use a pathfinder tool to cut shape. Well, obviously you can use the eraser tool as well to cut shape like this. And uh, if you want to learn more about how to use eraser tool, I do have a tutorial already. So I'm not going to go over the steps in details. All you need to do is uh, with the shape selected and uh, draw through the areas that you want to cut. And uh, this area will be uh, empty. So if you want to see how it looks, you can create a background on it, change the color and set it to back. And you can see this area is cut off. And now let's take a look at how to cut an object with the scissors tool. All right. So when you use the scissors tool, you actually need to click on the path. So for example, if you click on the object, it's going to show a message asking you to use a scissors tool on a segment or anchor point. I just click on this part. And if you want to delete maybe half of the circle or a quarter of the circle, just click on two points on the path. And if you hit the delete key, it's going to delete the parts you just clicked. Well, maybe I click on here and here. However, it chose the wrong part. Let's just go back and uh, switch to the selection tool and uh, select this part and hit the delete key. I would say that the scissors tool works better on cutting a path. So for example, I have the circle stroke here and you can see where you are cutting easier. So um, I'm going to choose a scissors tool again and the keyboard shortcut is C. For example, if you want to cut a half circle. If you want to make a half circle, just click on the, um, the top and the bottom anchor point and simply hit the delete key. Okay. It's going to delete a quarter and it's going to delete another quarter. Yeah. That's how the scissors tool works. I mean, you don't necessarily have to click on the anchor points. If you want, you can also just click on anywhere on the path and, uh, yeah, select the path, switch back to the selection tool using the shortcut V and uh, select the part. I mean the, the path between the two anchor points that you just clicked on and hit the delete key. And yeah, that's pretty much how it works. All right. So now let's go to the knife tool, select the knife tool from the toolbar. And it's really, really easy to use. And I really love the knife tool for cutting like a free form shape or to cut a shape with like a free from cut. Well, let me show you what it means. For example, if you want to cut something like the Pepsi logo, if you remember what it looks like, I'm not going to create a perfect form of the Pepsi logo, but yeah, just draw a line like this and you will be cutting the object into uh, two parts. So as you can see, you can select that part and uh, separate it. Or if you want to simply just change the color of this part, you can do that as well. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's a way to cut part of the object and it also work with text. Let me show you how it works too. So let's say I have these tags. However, if you want to uh, cut text, you actually need to create a text outline. If you don't know how to create a text outline, I do have a tutorial showing you how to do that. So if you are interested, you can find the link in the description below and um, yeah, create a text outline quickly using the shortcut shift command and O. Once the text is outlined, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, simply select the knife tool and draw through the area that you want to cut. And you can see the, the text is actually separated. If you switch back to the selection tool, well, you can ungroup it first. Yeah, you can select the individual part. And if you want to remove any part, feel free to do so. All right, so that's how the knife tool works in Illustrator. However, you do need to pay attention when you use a knife tool, you need to draw completely through the shape like this. For example, if you are not um, overlapping the, the path, let's say if you are drawing it like this, it's not going to create a cut effect that you want. So just pay attention to that. 
And okay, now I'm going to show you how to cut shape using the Pathfinder tool as well. In order to use a Pathfinder tool, you do need to have two shapes. So now I have this circle. Uh, I'm going to create another shape, maybe a star, and uh, change the color. And then you can directly use a Pathfinder tool under the Properties panel. Or you can also open it from the overhead menu window and Pathfinder. If you want to cut on uh, the object that is in the middle, which is the star in this case, you can choose uh, Exclude. I mean, it changed the color, but uh, it's going to cut out the, the star shape. And then obviously, if you want to um, keep only the star shape and uh, exclude the area, in this case, you don't even need to create a circle, but well, I'll show you how it works. So you can choose intersects. And then also, if you want to cut it and uh, move it around to, or to create a new shape, you can also use uh, divide. So then, uh, yeah, when you click divide, it divides the two objects. And in this case, you do need to ungroup it and then you can move around the shape. Okay, so the next option that you can use is uh, crop. You can also use it to crop the shape and then you can also use the trim option, ungroup it, and you can move it around. It works similarly as the, um, the divide option. So as I said, if you want to learn more about how to use a Pathfinder tool or the different options, you can find the link to my video in the description below. And besides that, obviously you can also use a clipping mask. So, I mean, if you want to use a clipping mask, all you need to do is select two objects um, that you want to cut. When you make a clipping mask, it's going to show only the, the shape on top. So um, yeah, right click and choose make clipping mask and there you go. Okay, I might be going a little bit fast in this video. So if you find it a little bit hard to follow, I do have an article talking about all the methods that I covered in this video. So if you're interested, you can find the link in the description below. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Just a quick sum up. If you want to cut path or if you want to cut lines, uh, the scissors tool would be the best option. If you want to cut a shape, you should use a knife tool and uh, make sure that you draw through the entire shape so that you can separate the parts. And then of course, you can also use a pathfinder panel and some of the options to cut part of a shape. Alright, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials.